While the discovery of anti-VEGF injections has led to the vast improvement of proliferative diabetic retinopathy, there is still work to do. The injections only treat macular edema in half the patients affected by the disease. The remaining 50% have other factors complicating the ability to be treated with VEGF inhibitors. The future for the eye disease for diabetes is clearly moving away from late stage diseases, but to uh, can we prevent or reverse uh, diabetic eye disease. Dr. King has identified some protective factors that could lead to a complete prevention of diabetic eye disease. We have an unusual group of people at Johnson who even with 50 to 80 years of diabetes don't uh, develop any eye disease and from them we have identified potential uh, factors uh, that could prevent them from progression to develop these severe forms of disease or uh, we have also potentially uh, identified factors that could reverse or stop the eye disease. The group is known as the 50-year medalists and they are voluntarily studied at Jocelyn. The information gleaned from tracking the progression of these remarkable individuals has given Jocelyn researchers insight into not only prevention of eye disease, but into kidney, heart, and other potential complications of diabetes. And Jocelyn researcher Dr. Jennifer Sun is developing a new technology that takes high-resolution pictures of the retina. Doctors can see individual blood cells, allowing them to detect early-stage changes in the eye giving them the opportunity to block the disease before it starts to take its toll. And Dr. Ed Feener, a complications researcher at Jocelyn, is exploring the other pathways causing problems in the eye. He has pinpointed a protein called plasma calocrine. The protein breaks down the retina's protective barrier, allowing inflammatory proteins to damage the delicate system. A drug to interfere with the action of the protein is in phase one clinical trials now. Innovations and cutting-edge treatments from the Betham Eye Institute have been possible thanks to Jocelyn's internationally renowned team of researchers and doctors collaborating to discover new ways to better the lives of people with diabetes. <laughs>